More takeover news here at Newcastle. Reports are coming in that there has been a breakthrough in the takeover talks. According to Sky Sports News, discussions between Mike Ashley and the takeover bid, uh, Jim Ballantyne, are going well. And there could be an announcement in the next few days. Fingers crossed we get a new owner. So yeah, a takeover is imminent. Will it go through though? You'll have to wait and find out because we've got so hopefully got some news coming for you in a few minutes time. But first up, we've got four games in the highlight package today. Let's roll them and see how we get on. Wilson with a free kick goes for goal and scores. Harry Wilson with his fifth goal of the season. Another set piece for the young man. Ten minutes into the second half. 1-0. It's been a drab affair against Brian here. And Wilson lights it up with a great free kick. 1-0 to Newcastle. Toya throwing the ball in to Fosu Mensah. And uh, we get them to go backwards to Ryan. Good press from Troy Deeney there. And uh, they launch the ball forward. Zagadu up. But only as far as Proper into Solly March. But Mayer comes in, steps in and drives forward into Troy Deeney. Can he get a shot away? He can. Hits the bar. And Duffy gets the ball clear. Proper, but it's a poor pass. And then Bola cuts that ball out. Grealish now on as the deep line playmaker in the middle for John Joe Shelby. But it's a poor pass out to Harry Wilson. He's lost possession. Solly March on the counter attack. Over to Florian Andone. And that's one apiece. The loose pass from uh, Jack Grealish in the middle of the park. One mistake gets them a goal and say that's that poor pass there. Solly March intercepts, drives forward on the counter attack. And it's a lovely ball over to uh, to Florian Andone. Takes the ball under control and slots it past Timo Horn. One apiece. Also, and again, free kick five minutes before the end. And he hits the bar this time. And Dunk gets that ball clear. And that is it. Newcastle won. Brighton won. Disappointing result, really, because we had lots of uh, chances on goal. And one mistake from Jack, Jack Grealish has put them back into the game. So one all against Brighton. We go now. Big game against City away at the uh, Etihad. Seven minutes in, Danilo into Aguero, back to De Bruyne. Lovely switch out to Benjamin Mendy, trying to get the ball into the back post, and it falls to Iago Aspas, and it's 1-0 to City. Lucky deflection on the uh, on the cross. Kun Aguero uh, gets the ball to De Bruyne. Lovely switch out to Benjamin Mendy. They get the cross in, but it just deflects off of uh, Jamal Lascelles. Falls to Iago Aspas, 1-0 City, seven minutes in. Mendy about five minutes before half time into De Bruyne out to Danilo he's got a little bit of space goes for goal hits the side netting very even game apart from that lucky City goal um say the stats are very very even going into half time coming inside he's got Fetty up in front of him David Neres goes for goal and David Neres scores just after the break David Neres comes in from that right hand side just keeps running and running at the City defence they back off we play it out from the back Lascelles out to David Neres and this is where he just goes on one of them little runs the city defense go back and back and back they don't put a tackle in and he puts it into that far corner edison no chance one apiece edison out to americ laporte finds sane down that right hand side over the top to aguero zagadu's on the chase and that's a good save by timo horn good double save by timo horn keeps us in it at one apiece yedlin our mark Trying to find someone in the middle, but only finds David Silva. And Sane is going to open the taps. Go down that left-hand side. Aguero's free in the middle. Aguero shoots. Aguero scores. You do not give Sergio Aguero that much space in the middle of the park. And Sane just opened the taps on those legs of his and drove into the space. Yedlin, uh, Yedlin left. No one marking it. No one got the, uh, the, the pace to keep Aguero quiet. 2-1 to City now. And there we have it, full-time whistle's gone. City 2, Newcastle 1. We're not far away from really giving these big sides a game. But unfortunately, a loss again against City after that disappointing result against Brighton. We now go on to Villa away at Villa Park. Keeping it short and uh, sharp, the passing. David Neres down this left-hand side. Has a little bit of run into Maya. Maya over the top to Angelino. Can he get a ball in the can? Fetty there and he hits the side netting. Good effort from Newcastle. Still 0-0. Tom Heaton comes out. 
and claims that one pretty comfortably, to be fair. And he goes long to Adama Traore. He comes inside, finds Trejo. Trejo now down that right-hand side, being uh, chased by two men. Balassi's into the back post, and Balassi scores. It's 1-0 to Villa. Third goal of the season for Yannick Balassi, and we're on the back foot already. Maya free kick goes for goal, and this time he scores from the free kick. Third goal of the season for the youngster, and we're uh, back into this game pretty much straight away. It's one apiece. Let's see this goal in 3D. Um, it's a really good hit. Top left-hand corner, and Tom Heaton absolutely no chance. Passed him before he even dove for it, and it's one all. Again, tries to switch that ball out to Balassi. But Timo Horn, as that sweeper-keeper, makes that pretty comfortably and uh, less uh, less stressful than it can be. Zagadou now, on the, just after the half-hour mark, Maya into David Neres, playing some good football here in Newcastle. Down that left-hand side, into Maya again. Can he switch the ball? No, goes to Jonjo. He goes for goal and shoots just over, and uh, it stays at one apiece. Toledo throws it into Fafana, about five minutes into the second half, and Grealish come on for Shelby. Shelby not playing particularly well. Up over the top, lovely ball, but he's forced wide into Maya again, and Maya shoots and scores. We've turned this game around 2-1 to Newcastle since with, uh, Villa went 1-0 up, not really giving us too much trouble but Meyer with his fourth goal of the season the cells finds that uh, up over the top and uh, just running off the man but forced a little bit wide holds the play up he finds Maya and he shoots into that top right hand corner 2-1 to Newcastle now Grealish out to Imbolo and uh, he's going to have a little run at the uh, Villa defence but ball pops out to Meyer. he's on a hat trick and Tom Heaton pushes that round for a corner and there we have it Newcastle 2 Villa 1 good win for us away from home at Villa Park we now go again, final highlight of the package, and it's Everton at home. Timo Horn with a goal kick. Goes to Ben Davis, who's had to come in for Lascelles because he's suspended, and now Ben Davis is going to charge forward. He's got Neres on the left, Neres on the right, Wilson on the left. Neres comes inside, but he has to go back to Meyer. Angelino's on the overlap, but he uses him as a decoy. Whips that ball in. Falls to David Neres. Can he get a shot away? No. Goes to Wilson, and he does score. 1-0 to Newcastle. That's his sixth goal of the season. It's been all Newcastle in the first five minutes. And David Neres picks up another assist. Meyer using Angelino as a decoy there. He does get the ball in eventually. They get it out, but only as far as David Neres. He's swarmed round by Everton players, but he gets the ball out to Wilson. 1-0 to Newcastle. Wilson another free kick can he this time put it in yes he can it's a brace today for Harry Wilson 2-0 to Newcastle his seventh goal of the season and Everton really not giving us anything in this game Harry Wilson dominating this game really taking the game by the scruff of the neck scoring two goals putting us 2-0 up and uh, Everton have got nothing to Gerton, whipping that ball in. No, finds Bernard on the uh, on the edge. Goes for goal and he shoots over. Shooting this game is high and wide. And we're going to hopefully see this game through to half time at 2 0. Going into injury time in the first half, Darren Neres on the left. Out to Fafana. He's got Angelino on the left. Is he going to use him? No, he's going to go for goal himself. And Seku Fafana with the third goal to probably um, wrap this game up for Newcastle. And it's 3 0. He had Angelino on this left hand side when he picked up the ball. Let's see how much space he actually had. And uh, Fafana picking up the ball. And look at the acres of space he's got over here. But he uh, whips that ball into the far corner. Pickford, no chance. 3 0, Newcastle. Wilson free kick. He's on a hat trick and Pickford keeps it out. Fetty Art picks up that ball and surrounded by what is literally half of the Everton team and uh, they get it clear. Angelino into Fafana. Back out to Shelby and he's got a switch here but goes back to Fafana into Iose. He switches it now to David Neres. He's got Yedlin on the overlap but goes inside. Cuts the ball out to Angelino. Gets the ball in. It's a little bit heavy for both uh, Arp and David Neres and they're going to go on the counter-attack. Sandro now. He's got Ben Davis with him and he holds the ball up but Shelby does really well. And now we play the ball out from the back. Zagadou into Shelby. He's got Neres on this right-hand side but it goes to Arp down the channel. Lovely ball from John Joe. He tries to chip Pickford and he could have done better without a chance it's still 3-0 and that is it 3-0 to Newcastle final whistle's gone and uh, that's the final highlight in this package now let's see where that puts us in the league going into the two games against Bournemouth and Watford more takeover news now and the consortium led by Jim Ballantyne has successfully taken over the club um, they've replaced Mike Ashley revealed he was delighted by the deal and indicated that he wanted to make a difference for the fans at St James's Park Personal message from Jim Ballantyne 
to me. He's thanked me for my patience during what was undoubtedly a stressful time for those involved with the club. He informs me the money is invested to develop the training ground and youth facilities and that further £12.5 million has been pumped into the Newcastle coffers. Uh, directors um, have left during the during the takeover and then put new ones in. As a result of the new board taking over, Ballantyne has informed you that the old philosophies agreed by you and the old board are no longer valid. The new board has asked you to work under no new philosophy. I'd like to point out as well that they'll only judge on the transfers and matches starting from the date that they took over as well. And also, the transfer... But a transfer embargo has been lifted so we can go out and have a look at other signings that we need to make but the important news is Jim Ballantyne is the new owner and chairman of uh, Newcastle United Mike Ashley is no longer here so as you can see from the staff screen Mike Ashley is no longer at the club we have got Jim Ballantyne finally his takeover did go ahead and uh, he's pumped a lot of money into the club none in the transfer kitty though but a lot into the uh, the kind of facilities and stuff like that. So really, really good to see. Jim Ballantyne is now in the club. So those games that we played, seven points from a possible 12. Not too bad. The only real downside was Brighton one all at home. Okay, just couldn't break them down. We also then got got uh, knocked out of the Carabao Cup in the quarterfinal stage again but against Man United. Both teams play, uh, played a highly rotated side. And uh, we only lost on penalties, though, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, we took them to the limit, but just couldn't break them down. This is how the league uh, stands at the minute. We're in sixth place, 32 points from uh, 18 games. Not entirely too bad at all. Six points off a Champions League place, but four points ahead of Southampton and five points ahead of Watford, who we played today in the second game. Um, so we play Watford in ninth and Bournemouth in 11th. So all in all, things are going well. Out off the pitch and on the pitch as well. So hoping for po probably four points out of these two games. We're in Christmas period. So we've got two games in three days. So let's see who go who's going to go up against Bournemouth in this first game. Well, as you can see, quite a few injuries at the minute. A virus or a cold went around the club. Even though I sent people home, um, they got a couple of people. Uh, Mankio is going to be out for a day with that virus. Chilwell's another one who's suffering. He's out for five days. And then Cataldi for three weeks and Ki Sung Young for 12 days, both with actual injuries rather than illnesses. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of on the bare bones within the middle of the pitch, but the rest of it is pretty simple. Um, we've got Horning Goal, Yedlin, the cells, Zagadu, and Angelino at the back line. Joey and Fafana in the middle. Neres on the right. Wilson on the left. Perez in the middle. And then Feti Arp up top. Uh, Maya is injured, or he was injured, but only just come back recently. So uh, we won't be playing him in today's game. Uh, on the bench, Davis Shah, Aaron's Grealish, and Bolo, Maya, and Troy Deeney. Let's get into this first game against Bournemouth. Stanislas with a corner, gets the ball in. That Ake's there. Horn was in two minds to whether come and go, but uh, we got away with it. Horn from that goal kick, though, from Ake's chance. We could find Yedlin down this right-hand side into Jamal Lascelles and uh, Lascelles out to Yedlin. Yedlin is going to drive forward. He's got uh, David Neres on that right-hand side, but has to go back to Lascelles, doing a good job, Bournemouth, down that right-hand side and squeezing us and making us go back for Fana, back to Timo Horn. No, uh, no worries on the ball. We're playing really well. Yedlin now gets tackled by uh, Stanislas, but falls to David Neres, into Jonjo. Lovely little through ball to Iosi Perez. Perez over the top to Yedlin. Can he get the ball in? Fetty Arp's there. Fetty Arp scores. Lovely goal from Fetty Arp. It's his first goal for a while, and they are going to be looking at uh, VAR just to see if it counts and whether Fetty Art was offside. Hopefully it's going to stand because he's not scored in a while. He's assisted and it looks like it is going to stand. Iosi Perez with a lovely little dink over, over the top to Yedlin using that pace that he's got and he just drills it into the near post. Fetty Art puts it past uh, puts it past Begovic and it's 1-0 to Newcastle. Wilson corner, 20 minutes gone. Into Fetty Art, it hits the uh, hits someone on the, on the line, falls to Perez and he hits the post. They get it clear and uh, we're going to go from this throw in Yedlin into Jonjo. Jonjo Shelby's got a couple of people on this left-hand side to switch to Angelino. Down the left-hand side to Harry Wilson. Into Fetty Arp, a little bit heavy. Out to David Neres, and he's going to take his time. He's got Angelino on this left-hand side again. Fafana, he's got, he's got a switch out there to Yedlin. He's not going to take it, Shelby. Goes for goal, and it's high and wide. Stanislas going to get this ball in just before half-time. Welbeck's at the back post, and the sells does really well and clears that. And David Neres, can we uh, get a counter-attack on the go? Fetty Arp, using that pace. He's got a couple of people at the back post, but can't beat the first man. He's going to pick up that ball again and Yedlin going to recycle this ball phase two of play Iosi Perry is going to go down that left hand side but has to go back to Fafana Shelby now can he find a through ball he can to Iosi Perez into Neve 
it. Neres goes for goal, and it's just over again from uh, from da David Neres. Yedlin just five minutes into this second half, and uh, he gets the ball back from a throw-in, and Fafana picking that ball up, and Ozzy Perry's getting tackled by Lerma, and it looks like it's going to be a Bournemouth attack. Aki back to Steve Cook, and uh, Jordan on that right-hand side, and he's driving forward, and lovely ball over the top to Mika Oglu, and it's a great block by Jamal Lascelles, and uh, puts it out for a corner. 15 minutes to go now. Ake back to Steve Cook, and we're pressing really well, but they get the ball out to Begovic, into David Luiz, and he goes long to uh, Stanislas, but Yedlin's pace helps us out there, and Timo Horn, oh, he goes, for, he goes for a long clearance, and it falls, it hits Stanislas on the head, 15 minutes to go, and they come back into this one, it's a poor, poor decision from Timo Horn, and uh, Yedlin, we look really comfortable here, goes back to Timo Horn, and he's got loads of time and space to uh, to even pass it to Yedlin here but Stanislas just stands there it hits him and it goes into the back of the net 1-0 and there we have it full time missiles gone Bournemouth 1 Newcastle 1 a lucky goal for them we dominated the game again just couldn't break it down these players are young and they're, and they're just learning their trade at the minute and hopefully in a couple of years time these are the types of games that we're just going to win without even blinking we go up against Watford next at home in a couple of days time and let's see how we got on with them so we go then Newcastle Watford Watford a 10th uh, they got a point against Arsenal last time out so we're still uh, still five we're now five points clear of them uh, Southampton really jumping into that uh, into that eighth place and we're staying in six in between Arsenal and City so yeah it's going to be a tough ask for us to get this European football and this is going to be the team that plays against Watford yeah uh, Horning goal Yedlin Lascelles Zagadou and Davis at left back just because uh Angelino suspended and Chilwell is still injured so unfortunately for uh, for them they're gonna have to miss out and Davis comes in on that left hand side Shelby and uh, Fafana keep their places in the middle we're gonna put Maya in for Ayozi Perez Neres on the right Wilson on the left Fetty Arp up top and let's go and get three points against Watford David Neres has scored wasn't commentating it was the opening highlight it never usually comes to absolutely anything but David Neres puts it in let's see this in 3D John Joe and Fafana picking it out in the middle goes to Wilson on that left hand side he drives into the middle Fetty Arp can't get to it falls to David Neres at the back post Foster should do better Newcastle 1 Watford nil. 20 seconds on the clock coming on a lovely run from Jack Grealish he's been brought down by Perea. He's already been booked. He's going to get a second yellow card and they're going to be down to 10 men with 25 minutes to go. Wilson just on the edge. Goes for goal and shoots just over. Probably a little bit too close for him to be fair. Couldn't get it up and down. And uh, we come again. Davis down to Shelby. Back to Ben Davis. Into Jack Grealish and Grealish back to Shelby. Shelby switches that ball out to Yedlin but it's a bit short and they get the ball, uh, kick the ball long to Jamal Lascelles with Andre Gray chasing sells back to Timo Horn and gets it straight away to John Joe. He's not dallying on the ball today. Wilson down this left-hand side into Ben Davis. Back to Wilson. No, he's going to whip the ball in. Trying to find someone in the back post. Falls to Grealish. Can he go for goal? He can. Jack Grealish scores his first goal of the season. Uh, come really late. We're in December, and but it doesn't matter. He puts us 2-0 up against Watford. And it looks like we're going to get four points from these two games, which is exactly what I wanted. It falls to Grealish from Cathcart's header, and he just drills it into that far left-hand corner. Jack Grealish scores his first goal of the season, 2-0 to Newcastle. Grealish should pick that ball up, and Yedlin's in acres of space on that right-hand side. Drives into the box, and that is going to be a penalty because he's definitely, definitely in the box there, 100%, uh, and it's going to be Troy Deeney against his former club, can he put us 3-0 up? Troy Deeney on one-on-one -on -one with Ben Foster, and he puts it into the back of the net. Second goal of the season for Troy. I think the first one was in uh, in a Carabao Cup tie, and he just puts this into the right-hand corner. Foster went the right way, but too much power on there. No celebration for Deeney, and it's 3-0 to Newcastle. Wilson being tackled by uh, De uh, De Ambrosio, and he's been sent off as well. Straight red, lack of discipline from Watford, down to nine men, but it doesn't matter. Full-time whistle has gone. 3-0 to uh, Newcastle. Great performance from the boys. We scored in 20 seconds. Darren Neres putting us in the game straight away. Grealish then pretty much wrapped up the game, and uh, Troy Deeney scoring against his former club, and that's his first goal in a while for Troy Deeney. Very happy with the way that they played let's see where that uh, stands us in the uh, in the league we are in the top six five points ahead of West Ham six points ahead of Palace and uh, we're only three points off of the Champions League place which yeah it's uh, it's gonna be 
it's going to go all the way down to the wire whether we get a uh, whether we get a european place this season so we will be back on thursday at 12 o'clock usual time as always we're going to bring you two really tough games liverpool at home and spurs away and then we'll give you the highlights of united away as well so three really tough games coming up in the next couple of weeks we're on a good run four games without a loss in the league so can we keep that up into the new year and really solidify our european places so four points from today's episode not too bad at all and that keeps us on a four game unbeaten run in the league which is just what we want to solidify that you those european places uh, tough games coming up on thursday united away at old trafford liverpool at home and tottenham away so we really see how good we actually are in those three games but that is it for today's episode if you have enjoyed it please do drop it a like it helps massively with the channel and the video and uh, subscribe if you're new if you are new remember tick that little bell icon so you're notified every time a video goes live and until next time when we bring you two massive games against Liverpool and Tottenham on Thursday 12 o'clock I'll see you soon